Good morning. Uh, my name is Renu Lal. I work in CEDAR's Small Business and Industry Assistance Program, or SBIA, this wonderful program that has brought you this amazing conference here today that I hope you're all enjoying. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about our program. I'll be describing the resources we offer, the outreach we conduct, and how we can help you. So let's start with FDA's philosophy. Um, FDA's philosophy is really timely interactive communication with sponsors um, during drug development. Um, and this is a core activity that helps to achieve FDA's mission to facilitate the conduct of effective and efficient drug development programs, ultimately enhancing public health by making safe and effective drugs available to the American public all in a timely manner. And so how does, how does SBIA help that? Well, SBIA um, contributes to this mission. FDA recognizes that regulated small business and industry may encounter some difficulties in working through the complex regulatory process. So each regulatory center has established a small business assistance office, um, which provides technical assistance and an efficient channel through which small business and industry can acquire information from the FDA. And our goal is that with our real-time support for industry, um, the industry can be better informed and in turn will have increased constru constructive interactions with FDA. So where is SBIA within all of FDA? So within CEDAR, um, FDA has the Office of Communications. Um, under that, we have our Division of Drug Information, or DDI. Um, and underneath that, within that, we have SBIA. And DDI as a whole, um, we answer we respond to thousands of inquiries that come into CEDAR, and we work very closely with other offices to anticipate and respond to major initiatives. And SBIA in particular, we respond to um, industry-specific inquiries and conduct a great deal of outreach, which I will be talking about. So the SBIA audience. Um, SBIA is open to everyone. We, you don't have to qualify by size of business um, or have any other qualifications. We help all of industry, even though we focus on helping small business. We started off focusing on small business, and, and you know that still kind of is our focus since um, the smaller companies are the ones that may not have the experience and the know-how and the resources of large companies. Um, but like I said, you know, we're open to everyone. Small business technically is defined um, as a business that has fewer than 500 employees, including affiliates. Um, but again, no qualification is necessary and anyone can, can utilize our resources and attend our conferences. Shown here is a geo map of a recent conference showing SBIA's global reach. Um, this graphic shows that conference registrants represented 77 foreign countries, and that was about 30% uh, of our audience being ex US. Um, so, you know, thanks to technology, we are able to extend our reach globally to India, to China, to Europe, and people are attending this conference in many different time zones. So I have a short little video to um, just kind of uh, describe what we do, and then I'll go over in detail each of the activities. The journey to develop and market a human drug can be long, complex, and filled with regulations. But FDA Cedar Small Business and Industry Assistance, or SBIA, is here to help. SBIA provides education and answers to help all regulated pharmaceutical industries, not just small business, all over the world. What do we offer? Web resources for all your questions and training needs the popular regulatory education for industry, or ready conferences, free events that offer direct interaction with FDA subject matter experts and provides RAC credits. We offer free webinars to share FDA's knowledge and expertise, featuring live question and answer sessions, video and audio archives, and virtual attendance from anywhere in the world. 
we publish the Cedar SBIA Chronicles, a brief e-newsletter and podcast that highlight a specific and timely regulatory topic. And we offer in-depth Cedar Learn, web-based learning tutorials. Stay current by signing up for our listserv or connect via LinkedIn. And best of all, everything is free. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, now I'm going to go um, a little bit in depth into, into what we do and, and what the different outreach activities are. So we provide direct communication services. We, um, you know, we have real-time interaction with callers and emailers. Uh, we have a staff of over 40 healthcare professionals that answer direct inquiries from industry via phone and email, via dedicated phone and email, um, phone numbers and email addresses. And last year alone, we responded to over 6,000 emails and over 3,000 phone calls. Um, and again, this service is available to anyone. You, you know, if we try to always pick up the phone, if we don't, you will get a response um, by a phone or you'll get an email response and we have a pretty quick turnaround. As you know, we offer conferences and workshops, um, such as the one you're here at today. Um, we hold them many every year. We call them the Regulatory Education for Industry Conferences, or REDI. Um, and the goal of these conferences is to provide direct, relevant, and helpful information on the key aspects of drug and device regulations. Our primary audience is small manufacturers of drug products who wish to learn about how FDA approaches drug regulation. So in 2019, um, we reached over 23,000 people via conferences, webinars, and recordings. Um, over 74 countries were represented with the top attendance um, from the US, India, Canada, China, and UK. Um, 2019 conferences included the Generic Drugs Forum, our annual READY conference, like the one you're at today, but last year it focused on the essentials of an NDA and BLA submission. Um, we had an in-person only conference on the current state and future expectations of translational modeling strategies to support drug development, um, manufacturing changes and controls, um, we had a conference on complex generic drug products. Um, we had a pharmaceutical quality symposium. We held a, an electronic drug registration and listing using CEDAR Direct workshop, an in-person clinical investigator training course, and then finally the prescription drug labeling conference. So we typically have a hybrid format for all topic specific conferences. So People can attend in person or online. So like I said, two of the conferences or workshops we had were in person only, but the rest were, you could attend both virtually or in person. Um, and COVID isn't stopping us this year. We can't have those in person conferences, but this is our fourth virtual conference so far this year. Um, and you can see some of our 2020 conferences here on this slide. Um, our ready pharmacovigilance and and risk management conference, um, new approaches, tools, and technologies attracted over 2,500 attendees from 104 countries. Um, and then each of these conferences also offer various types of continuing education credits depending on, on the conference. The slides and um, presentations are also downloadable on our website, which I'll get to, and on YouTube, which I will talk about. So we also offer webinars. In 2019, SBIA offered 15 webinars. Um, the live webinars feature question and answer sessions where people can send in their questions via chat box and receive real-time answers in the Q&A session. Um, we also hold extended webinars, which last from four to eight hours and are divided into different lectures. So they're almost like mini one-day conferences. Um, recently, on April 30th, we held a very highly attended webinar with almost 1,800 attendees on conducting clinical trials during the COVID-19 public health emergency. 
Um, so we have two websites. If you haven't checked them out, please do. Um, the one on the left is our CEDAR SBIA website, and the one on the right is our SBIA Learn website. So SBIA contains up top a calendar of events and then um, some recent events and information, and these have links um, which will lead you to the YouTube links for these um, for these presentations and webinars and conferences. Underneath that, we have drop-down menus. Um, so for instance, if you click on drug development, you will find a list of very helpful um, links that will um, bring you to information on that topic. And then we have here on our right our CEDAR SBIA Learn um, webpage, which uh, features uh, multimedia resources and offerings. So all our educational offerings are archived here. Our webinars, our conferences and workshops, um, you know, our newsletters, and, all, and everything is here. If you click on SBIA Multimedia Resources and Offerings, you'll find them um, by resource. Um, and then here you can find them by topic. Um, so if you click on regulatory submissions, you'll find those conferences and webinars and newsletters that, are, that fall specifically under this bucket. Um, and I mentioned we are on YouTube. This is really exciting. This is our biggest, I would say, one of our biggest accomplishments of 2019. Um, we were able to load um, over 350 presentations, uh, conferences, and webinars from 2017 to present um, just a few months ago. And we already have um, over 170,000 views and almost 1,000 shares. Um, so this makes it really easy to view the recordings. Um, if you missed a conference or if you'd like to share it with your colleagues, um, you know, we encourage you to do so. Um, if you go to um, YouTube, search for FDA, search for FDA, click on playlists, and you will see um, the Cedar Small Business and Industry Assistance playlist sorted by year. There will be 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020. Um, so please check it out and share on social media. We're really excited about this. Um, our SBIA Chronicles are short two-page electronic newsletters and audio podcasts that we write highlighting a different regulatory um, topic in each issue. So this, these projects are currently on hold due to COVID um, because of competing priorities, but our past issues are still available on the CEDAR SBIA Learn webpage, so please check them out. Um, some sample topics that we've published on include competitive generic therapies, master protocols, um, novel surrogate endpoints in drug development, and real-time review of drug applications, and there are so many more to check out. We've also produced many web-based learning tutorials, which we call the, C the Small Business and Industry education series. Uh, these tutorials are aimed at educating small pharmaceutical business and industry on topics relating to drug regulation and review. Um, and these courses are part of CEDAR Learn, which is um, our larger web page for educational tutorials offered by CEDAR. So please check these out. Um, you know, they're great step-by-step -step tutorials that you can do on your own time. So, in a normal world, we typically exhibit and present at, conference, at conferences by invitation and hold one-on-one -on -one sessions with industry to answer their questions. Um, we're still able to do some of this, but um, you know our exhibits have been, we're not able to do that. Um, as far as presenting, we still are able to um, participate virtually in the NIH Commercial Accelerator Program, or NIH CAP, which some of you may have heard of. Um, for early stage um, pharmaceutical business, healthcare businesses. Um, and we give a presentation of FDA's new drug development program and we participate in the feed forward sessions, which is um, you know, just direct feedback to these companies. And this is a collaborative effort with the Office of New Drugs to provide regulatory feedback um, to these very small pharmaceutical companies in the early stages um, on their drug development programs. 
Um, if you are not signed up already, please do sign up for our email updates, our listserv. Um, we send, we have, I think, over 100,000 subscribers right now, um, and we send out updates on SBI events, um, conferences, webinars, newsletters, um, federal register updates, guidance updates, other regulatory updates, and just a lot of information of interest to the pharmaceutical industry. So, um, you know, if you go to our website, fda.gov forward slash Cedar SBIA, and click on the subscribe to email updates links, which are both at the top and the bottom of the web page, you can sign up. Um, and we are also on social media. Um, you can, if you're not an email person, you can receive all that same information in your LinkedIn feed. Um, and again, on our webpage, our Cedar SBIA webpage, um, if you scroll down, you'll see a link to, um, to our LinkedIn page. You could also go to the FDA LinkedIn page and, and scroll down, you'll see our SBIA showcase page, or you can just search for Cedar Small Business and Industry Assistance. That's the name of the page. It's not identified as SBIA. Um, we are featuring our YouTube recordings of past events directly on our LinkedIn feed, so be sure to um, share them if you subscribe. Um, we love growing our audience. Um, we know there's still a lot of people out there that don't know we exist, um, and we are here to help you. Um, we will also be running sponsored ads and sponsored in-mail to spread the word to those um, companies outside of our network um, and those representatives outside of our networks to to grow um, our audience as well. We're, we currently have about 9,000 followers, and we're growing every day, so it's really exciting, all these new opportunities. And this brings us to our challenge question. So how can one stay in the know about upcoming SBIA conferences, webinars, and news? A, sign up for the small, um, it used to be called the Small Biz Buzz, but we're just calling it email updates now via fda.gov forward slash Cedar SBIA. Bookmark fda.gov forward slash Cedar SBIA and continually check the event calendar. C, follow the Small Business and Industry Assistance LinkedIn page via the link on our webpage, or D, all of the above. And if you answer D, you are correct. So finally, here is our contact information. Like I said, we have over a staff of over 40 people. We answer calls and emails real time. So please do contact us, check out our web pages, utilize our resources, um, sign up for our listserv, and follow us on LinkedIn, on YouTube, um, and share. Please share so that we can, um, you know, other companies can also access our services. And I thank you for your attention. Um, please enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.